Hey there, in this video, I'm going to explain data validation in OpenOffice spreadsheet. So first of all, what is data validation? It is like kind of restriction that you impose on your data to be inserted in a spreadsheet. That means, let's suppose you have uh, in, your op uh, in your spreadsheet, you want, you want to allow or maybe don't want to allow certain values then you will apply certain validations so all the data your data will be checked up it will be verified across the criteria across the validation that you have imposed if the condition is satisfied the data is allowed to be inserted otherwise data is not allowed to be inserted so it will check the correctness or uh, authenticity or you can say the validation of data as per your conditions Okay, so let's uh, take, uh, let me explain it with the help of an example and way, way you can get this option under the data option in menu bar you have this validity and if you click on this right now it say allow all values by default all the values are inserted uh, are allowed for the entire spreadsheet. Uh, let me take you let me explain you with the help of an example so let's say in the first column i don't want any row number which uh, greater than 50 so i'm going to create one column that is row number and i'll select this entire column by clicking on the column name now this entire column is selected okay so entire column is selected i go to data validity in the validity i don't want to allow all values and i assume that roll numbers are uh, like they are whole numbers so i'll pick this option whole numbers and what's my condition value i said uh, the value what was the condition roll number greater than 50 not allowed okay that means the roll number has to be less than or equal to 50 so we'll go here i don't have any option which says that not equal to uh, greater than not equal to so we'll choose the other one the opposite of it that is less than equal to 50 and if i press now here is one important thing if you will press ok and if you go here if i insert the value 55 it still accepts the value the problem is we perform the data validity but we haven't completed it a criteria was tried but in the error alert we have to enable this option check the error message when the invalid values are entered okay so in that case we want what action we want to perform we have different actions here stop means i don't want to allow any other value apart from the criteria warning is We'll just give the, give the warning and warning and information kind of same. We'll give the warning. We'll give the information, but the wrong values will be uh, can be inserted in the macro. You will define certain function based on uh, like uh, based on the condition that you have met. Okay, so if you want to give okay, I want to show one error message. I want to stop any invalid value and say let's say you uh, you can customize your message. And let's say I want to say, okay, uh, roll number, error message, don't insert values greater than 50. That was our condition. And just a message that I've just typed here, okay? And if I press, okay. Now, uh, roll number 55 is still there because uh, I, now I have applied the validation. So, your values will be checked after the validation is performed it will not uh, like affect the values which have already been inserted into the column okay so it's a, like a post process you apply the validation then you insert the data then the validation will be checked if you already have the data of course it's not going to like uh, going to check the values which are already present there okay so let me add 55 again if you click somewhere, it says I got the warning, don't insert whatever the message I typed there. If I press OK, see, I wasn't able to enter 55 there. And if you say 50, yes, because our condition was, our criteria was values less than equal to 50. So I got this value. 49 is also allowed and so on. 
okay so let's take one more example it says that the name cannot be more than 15 characters all right let me let me tell you more about the validation post so you go to data validity in this you can see under the criteria there are different options first is whole number that you already know number starting from zero decimal is the number with the decimals date there is date time cell range list and text length okay i'll explain all this one by one now let's talk about this text length i just got this question that was that name cannot be more than 15 characters okay so on this column let's say i want to create a column name and on this column i want to apply the criteria a validation that is text length text length means how many number of characters are acceptable in this column so i said numbers greater than 15 is not allowed that means less than equal to was it the question cannot be more than 15 characters okay yeah so less than 15 is allowed say okay and let me let me make it uh, let me change the question so that it will be easy for you to read let's say the question is name more than five character is not allowed okay so i go here so i say less than equal to five and press ok and make sure you have enabled this option and you have made it stop okay so if i say some name uh, some random name um one breathe how many character is that it has one two three four five six seven eight and nine and this should not be allowed and i got the warning invalid value and if i say aman it has four characters the value is allowed and don't confuse your characters like if i insert the value like nine eight seven six five four uh will this value be accepted or not it will be because the number of characters are one two three four five and it is accepted it's going to count the number of characters okay and nine eight seven all teachers are your characters all alphabet you are your character even all special characters uh special uh like symbols they are your character for example if i say okay so how many characters it has p1 then uh, this dash and then four six characters not accepted because there are six character let me add let me say p r y a how many character it has now five and it is accepted okay so it's going to count the number of characters so let's move to the next example uh section column can have only three values okay now if you want to give if you want to make like a drop down menu and you want to pick the values from already predefined menu then you can use this the third option uh, under the data validity let me add a column section here on this column i want to apply data validity okay we are already done with whole numbers then i explain you text later now let's go to list if i choose this it says that entries so in question i had q1710 that was 11 q1722 q1733 so i have inserted the values here and if i press ok you can see there's a uh, you, you start seeing this symbol along with the column and if you click on this all three values that are inserted in the list are present here okay so i can pick the values quickly from the drop down menu makes the task easier let me enter some value which is not present in the list okay some some random value and i got the warning because i cannot insert any value which is not already not present in the list okay so the validation is also checked even in this case uh in data validation there was one more option that is not clearly defined which is cell range if i click on this you can say uh it gives you one option that is source and it says that the source can only consist of contiguous uh, selection of rows and columns or a formula that results in an array or area okay so basically if you want to pick certain values from 
the sheet itself you can use this option of source if i click on here let me let me select all these values uh, like all these values so i selected these six cells click expand it will shrink click on this it will be expand and press ok so if you can see oh i think i have done something wrong let me perform it again data validity uh cell range was sheet that was okay i missed by mistake i have selected the wrong cell range so I'll go back over here and okay this is starting from b2 to c4 b2 to c4 that's fine so go back and press ok so if you can see here all the values which i selected from or like this source has been listed over here so i can pick the values from the sheet itself okay so that's that's your that's how you use cell range okay next one is uh date of birth less than 1 january 2017 allowed only okay so go back to let's say date of birth column and validation if i go here i have this option of date and I say uh, less than quotient was uh, keeping and keep forgetting the quotients. Okay, no worries. So uh, date of birth less than this is not allowed. That less than one January. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm mistakenly. I don't know what was going on in my mind. Okay, so data date of birth less than 1 January 2017 allowed only. Okay, so go here. It has to be less than. Okay, now see in this case, you should know the what's the format of the date. Okay, so let me let me check what's the format because I don't know what's the format for this spreadsheet. So if I say this, it's auto completing, which is day month and year okay i'll use this format that was just to know the format okay so i'll go to data let me select the column first data validity and we have date option less than first jan 2017 as for the format this represents your day two letters for your month and two letters for your year and if i press ok now if i go here uh let's say 12 slash okay 12 of march 2015 it is accepted if i say 19th of uh, may 2017 it is also accepted but it should not so let me go back again and see what's wrong with it validity less than 1 1 2017 oh I told you we have to enable this option I haven't checked this option that's why it wasn't working so I press ok so now let me enter the value 19th of May 2017 and as you can see i got the invalid value message okay so it's also working fine let me let me add some value which was less because that validation wasn't performed earlier so february let's say 2012 accepted fine and there, there's one more if say let's say if i add 29th of february 2017 2015 okay and even then i got the wrong value because i have set the value i have set the allowed value as a date so the date will be matched with the calendar and we don't have 29th of february in 2015 okay so that will be uh, because it's the type of date that will also be checked okay so that's a, like additional feature here uh let me see if anything else is left um so Similarly, the way you have date option, you can also perform for time 
and uh, the way you have a uh, whole number you can also look for decimal there's one more option here that is input help now what's the meaning of this let's say uh, input see your uh, validation they work after you insert the value you insert value those are verified with the validation then you get then you are allowed or not allowed depending upon the criteria to insert the values so if you want to provide help in advance you can also use this option so let me say i want to provide a help here i have chosen this column go to data validity our criteria was fine in the input help help i want to show the message uh, let's say roll number please no oh, sorry please insert the values between 1 to 50 50 only fine so if i press ok error alert is fine fine if I press ok so if you can see as soon as i click anywhere i got this help in advance so if i this is like you are uh, giving them uh, information in advance. Okay, this should be allowed. So just for the just kind of help uh, for the sake of input. Okay, that's it. That's how you perform validation uh, in Open Office Calc or spreadsheet. And uh, have a nice day.